Hey everybody, this is Tyler Tapper, and you get pretty sawdust when you cut up a lot of expensive exotic hardwoods. So I'm actually catching up on some videos from last Christmas, and this was a knife handle and knife that I put together for my brother-in-law. First part, I cut all of these into strips and I'm gluing them together. In between each strip, I put kind of a little pin stripe of a thin veneer piece. So after I leave them clamped up and they dry, I'm going to take it over to the belt sander and smooth it out so I can see how they're going to look. You can see the knife blank I'm going to be using there. The majority of the handle is going to be a curly maple, so I traced out the knife blank on that to kind of rough out the size I needed. And then I'm going to glue this in the center. It takes some kind of creative clamping to make sure they don't move around, but a couple of clamps you can get it. So you'll want to make sure that you have a very sharp knife for this next step. You'll want to cut through in the middle and you want to make a very flat cut so that it's flat against both sides of the knife blank when you go to glue it together. I went ahead and trimmed these down to rough shape on a scroll saw just so I'd have a little bit less sanding to do after I got them together. I'm using two-part five-minute DevCon epoxy as always. I get one side done, then I can drill the pinholes through after I drill them through that one side, I can glue on the other side, and uh, it makes it a lot easier for me to line up the holes. The other part of this knife I had to be really careful to line up were those diagonal lines, because after you got it sanded down, you would see uh, really easily if they were off. Then I just got the pins coated in a little bit of epoxy and stuck them through. They're hollow aluminum. So I have a belt sander that I do the majority of my shaping on, but I do still occasionally bust out the files, especially for inside profiles and places like this where the belt sander just doesn't have quite tight enough of a radius to get into where I want. And if I try and force it in there, then I end up reprofiling the metal part of the blade. So I just go in there with some handwork and get it filed down to where I need it. The other place I had to file was part of the finger hole here, and I had to get a little bit of extra clearance in there so I could get in there with the next tool. After I had it pretty close to the file, I went in there with the cartridge roll. Um, this is just a little sanding, sanding roll, and I also wanted to profile it out into the handle and give it a little bit of a compound curve inside there so you can see I'm going at it diagonally. So I went through all the grits in the sanding paper, got up to about 320 on it, and I found that on a lot of these it's easiest just to dip them in some polyurethane and let it, let it run down. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of a nub on the end, so you'll want to come back in and wipe that off while it's still semi-wet, uh, but other than that it's a one-step finish. And here's a finished product. The hardwoods in there are, of course, the curly maple. Then you go down to a purple heart, red heart, Osage orange, and yellow heart. Uh, off camera, I don't know where the footage went, but I ended up filling the pins with a little bit of white epoxy. I didn't like them hollow because they were so small. Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. I would love it if you'd smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Hey everybody, I want to let you know that I'm starting up a Patreon campaign. Uh, if you guys are feeling generous, I'd love it if you'd check down the description. There's a link down in there to my Patreon page where you can donate. Otherwise, I really appreciate your continued support just by watching the videos. Thank you.